We're Carlo and Nikki, and we live in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road, but it overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what it's really like living year round on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Welcome to the beginning of the renovations of our Tuscan property. I don't know whether you can hear behind me, but there's a lot of rubble noises going on and we have started renovating. So it's a real mess inside at the moment, but I'm gonna show you what we're up to and what we are planning on doing with it. Now, before we start, let's have a quick look at the view. It's very misty this morning. See the mist down in the valley there and the sun is just coming through over the hills. Now, yesterday we were told that that pink house over there is owned by a wizard. It, it, I'm not quite sure what they mean, but it sounds very, very interesting. <laughs> my dad because he did say he was going to buy me a set of knives for the kitchen and I thought that was going to be it but I've just opened it and it is a giant pack of toilet paper <laughs> thanks dad <laughs> so this is a, um, a joke between me and him basically a few years ago in Positano before Brexit happened, when he could post me stuff without me being charged ridiculous amounts of customs fees, he sent me a box of things, and I think there was a lampshade in the box that had to be protected, and he stuffed loads of toilet rolls around the lampshade to protect it and cushion it from being shaken around during the uh, voyage. And I opened it where our post arrives in Positano, which is up at a forge and owned by Carla's cousin. And as I opened it and pulled out toilet roll after toilet roll, all of the guys working in there were in hysterics. And they were like, Nikki, does your father not know that we have toilet paper in Italy? So it's always been this running joke that dad, please don't send me things stuffed with toilet paper. I don't want rolls of toilet paper in my boxes. So. He's made sure that I've got lots of lovely toilet paper. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. She's got goes to this stupid door. Sicuramente i vecchi proprietari avranno fatto questo con tanto amore. Però noi abbiamo un'idea diversa di come deve venire questa zona. Quindi romperò questa parte, solo questo, non tutto. Queste mattonelle sono carine, potrebbero essere riutilizzate per fare qualcosa, non so, un tavolino o qualcosa di carino. Mm, sì.
Yesterday I painted the main bedroom, which is this one, which is huge. It's absolutely enormous. And I'm so excited about having this room because I've never had such a big room. We've actually called a professional painter in because it's just all a bit overwhelming and there's so many things to do. So he's in here today. Se io pubblico un video su YouTube e me lo guardano, no? Sì. Che, chi è che mi dà soldi? Eh, Google. Ah, Google. Ah. Maurizio, sei veloce. Bastante. No, no, sei veloce. Guarda qui. Era blu prima. Vabbè, qui ancora si vede che ci vuole un'altra mano, no? Forse anche due. Forse anche due. So the plan is to get the house livable in as soon as possible so that we can move in because we're currently paying rent to stay in an Airbnb nearby. So we're trying to get in within the next few days. We need a mattress to sleep on. We need water, which we've got in the little tap, in the little sink, but it's not really ideal because we're gonna to need to be able to wash dishes and stuff. So we sort of need a kitchen sink. We also need something to cook on, obviously, to feed ourselves. So we've got all sorts of things arriving in the next few days. We've had to order, obviously, an oven, a washing machine. We haven't ordered a fridge yet because it's actually cold enough that we're, we don't need to rush it so we can leave stuff outside. But yes, we're desperately trying to get everything ready. We've got a painter in doing some painting because I can't do it all myself. It's just too much. And after yesterday painting all the bedroom, which is a big room, everything hurt. <laughs> Absolutely everything hurt. I'm not used to it. So... We go, we've got painter in and he's really, really quick. So he should be done today. And we've got all the things that we've ordered arriving over the next few days. So hopefully I reckon within a couple of days or when you see us next week, we'll be camping out in the house. Also, I am aware that I have not showed you around all of the house, but I think I'm just going to, we're taking it bit by bit. So what I'm going to do is show you the rooms that we're getting ready. And then once we get onto another room, I'll show you that. Um, otherwise it's just all a bit overwhelming but as I said earlier on an empty house tour is boring <laughs> there's nothing to see apart from empty rooms and white walls so I will show you around but bit by bit hey doggies how are you finding it here are you enjoying it let's go and see what Carlo is up to So as you can see here, another arch has appeared in the wall, overnight seemingly. So our plan, our original plan was to knock through this whole wall, opening up the kitchen to this area behind where there's the perfect nook for a fridge. Except that we then found that there is a huge electrical panel holding basically the brains of the house behind this wall here which means we can't knock this part of the wall down. So for now, what we've done is we've made this arch, the other side of this electrical panel. Uh, so we've got access straight through to the fridge here. And we're gonna see, we might leave this arch here, we might block it up, we might put a bookcase in the middle. We're just gonna see how it looks before we decide exactly how we're going to finish it. But at least we've got our access to the fridge now without having to go all the way around here and along here. So we've made a great start. <laughs> ah, questo è il tuo modo di pulire il pavimento, amore. Ah, oh, sì. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, one of the bedrooms upstairs 
had a partition wall running through the middle of the bedroom and they were using it as a walk-in wardrobe area but it was huge and it made the bedroom very very small so the other night we decided to knock that wall down as well and we did and what a surprise we now have two huge bedrooms upstairs Also, the other day, actually, let's take a walk with the doggies while I'm talking to you. Come on, doggies, walkies. Also, the other day, we were with Marie and Lorenzo, and we were in a bar, and we were looking for kitchen units. We were actually looking for temporary kitchen units. Our original plan was that we were going to build a very cheap temporary kitchen um, in one of the back rooms while we decided what we wanted to do with the main room. Even though I already had an idea, because of those four months that we had waiting for the house, I had plenty of time to plan things. So I did have an idea of what I wanted, but I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it. I didn't want a prefab kitchen like an Ikea, Ikea kitchen or anything. I wanted something completely different from what we've got in Positano. And um, I had lots of ideas saved. So we were looking on a website, um, a bit like eBay, an Italian version called Subito.it, where you people sell stuff and we found this guy who hand makes handcrafts kitchens a carpenter guy who handcrafts kitchens and they were exactly what I was looking for um we couldn't be bothered to sign in to this website and give all our details just to contact him so we went to the town where he said he was based because he'd written where he was based and and we went into a bar and we asked, we said, do you know this guy who builds these fantastic kitchens? And the owner of the bar said immediately, oh yes, he built my kitchen and my brother's kitchen. Here, let me call him. So <laughs> this is the great thing about Italy. Everyone knows everybody. So we called this guy and arranged for him to come around. He came around a couple of days ago and he's going to make me a kitchen. It won't be ready till the end of March. So, so what we've actually decided to do now is, um, rather than build a temporary kitchen in another room we're going to get the oven because i'm going to get a freestanding oven anyway so we're going to get that and let me see where can i go here i'll just walk down here we're going to get the oven and we'll get a fridge and i'll get um what else do i need i don't really need anything else do i we need a kitchen sink but we found one in one of the second hand places and it's only 25 euro for, a, I mean, it's an old kitchen sink unit, but it's a kitchen sink unit and it works and it'll be fine temporary just for the next two or three months. And then we can probably stick it out in the garden somewhere. So that's the plan. Oh, one other thing. This is not our property that I'm walking on. This is the neighboring land. And we met them the other day and I did ask if it would be okay to roam around their land for dog walks. And they said, yes, absolutely fine. So we've got lots to explore around here. because I now have a kettle and also I've just picked out two mugs that one of you lovely people gave to us last year and I brought them with me so we can have tea. I 
I was thinking about using the cupboard under the stairs as a little doggy house, but I didn't know if they'd like it or not. So I stuck a blanket down there and look. You know, if you've been watching my videos, that I don't do sponsored posts or paid partnerships at all. And I never have done. Um, but I thought I might like to, to save a bit of money getting this house up and running, I thought I might contact a couple of companies that I know work with all sorts of creators and Instagrammers and YouTubers and might be able to help me out a bit. So I contacted, for instance, a mattress company that has pretty much worked with everybody I know. Uh, unfortunately, they never got back to me. So no advert, no paid partnership and no sponsored posts. So I'm now gonna open my paid for mattress and Holly and I will probably lie down on it. Won't we? Why have you got a wet face? What have you been doing? Are we just gonna sit here, are we? Oh, okay. Maybe we'll open the mattress a bit later. I know it looks wonky there, but it still needs to inflate and the corners seem to be a bit more squashed than the rest of it. Anyhow, now the most fun part, bed sheets. And I bought sets of new bed sheets. They were all in the January sales, so I got them all really cheap. And I've got some really nice linen bed sheets in various colours. Ideally, I would wash them before I put them on the bed, but we don't have a washing machine yet, so we can't do that. So I'm going to open the packs and choose what to use. I'm also going to leave half of the plastic wrapper that the mattress is in underneath it, just so it's not sitting on the floor. And I have ordered a bed. I didn't want to buy a second-hand bed because somebody might have died in it. So. I have a bed on order, but it's not going to be ready till mid-February, so we've got quite a white place, so that's fine. Right, what should we use? What should we use? What should we use? I also have a selection of, I think I've got three different types of pillows. And I've just bought one duvet from Ikea just to see how they are. And I've also treated myself to a 100% down pillow. Oh, oh, there's a van coming. Let's go and see what's arriving. Okay, that was the courier. And I've got a couple of packages. I'm expecting quite a lot of things. So maybe it's lots of little things in one big box. Let's go and see. So what I was saying was I've got um, a very nice luxury pillow, which I've treated myself to coming from England with Celine, who will be here probably in about three weeks time, actually. She's stopping off skiing. Security camera. We've already got one, so that's the other one. Hair dryer. Digital angle gorge. Dog flap. <laughs> so we've got a cat flap at home, and it's a large cat flap. And Holly and Indy both use it, but in the last few months, Indy's finished growing and she's a little bit too big for the cat flap. She gets stuck halfway through, so we've gone up a size. A back scratcher. Do you know what? <laughs> I couldn't resist a back scratcher. I've always wanted one of these, and I saw it. Ah. <laughs> have the beginnings of a wardrobe and we have somewhere to sleep. I've just come out for a quick walk with Indy. I'm not sure where I am but I think I've got an idea. I think I'm going to come out at the side of the house if I've got my bearings right. And Carla's just called and the sofas that we bought for 80 euro each are on their way. Aha! 
That looks familiar. Okay, it's definitely you don't have to do steps anymore, but there's quite a bit of hill climbing. It'll keep me fit for Positano. Our sofas are arriving. Come on, goody, 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 goody. Come on, doggies, get out of the way. <laughs> he didn't think he was going to get down the pathway, but it looks like he's doing fine. Come on, Holly. Are you looking for squirrels? <coughs> no, 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 there aren't any, I promise. Oh, I shouldn't have said that word. Come on. Any more? And I forgot, we also picked up this lovely bench. This was 80 euro as well. Everything was 80 euro, but I think that is really lovely. Mettinella stanza grande. Okay, one sofa in a very odd place, but it's got to stay there because this room is going to be painted tomorrow. One bench temporarily over there. I don't believe it. You two are terrible. <laughs> it's not for you, it's for me. How is the arch coming along? Very, very well. Isn't Carlo clever? I do my best. Can you show us in? Today it is raining and I've just been looking around and I found a couple of leaks. There's a leak coming down from this window. <laughs> which Carlo is now going up into the drains and it's obviously been here for quite a while. Look at that, there's actual things growing on the windowsill. It's very wet. And there's another leak coming from up here, dripping down the wall. So we've come outside to have a look. We found that this drain probably has not been cleaned for a very long time. That's why. And there's drips in the ceiling as well. Come, come sta procedendo? Bravo, direi Maurizio abbastanza bene, non sono tanto veloce perché questo non è il mio lavoro, però, però ce la faccio a fare, tu che pensi? Io penso che gliela fanno. Ce la facciamo, no? Sì, 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 sì. Va. È quasi pronto, quando avrò finito sarà asciugato, tu lo pitturi. Eh? Però. Però. Da buon positano. <ride> Riesce tutto fatto a mano. Eh? Sì, da un po' positanese si fa tutto fatto a mano. <ride> Mancano tante lampadine in questa casa, quindi ho comprato i portalampadine, le lampadine, un po' di filo e i borsetti per attaccarli e le mettiamo dove manca. Questa casa è al buio, non possiamo rimanere al buio. Poi con calma prenderemo le luci dei lampadari che vuoi. And I, on the other hand, am taking the afternoon off. I need a break from hard manual labour here, so I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go and pick up Marie and we're going to drive over to Maison de Monde and have a look and see what I can find. I need some curtains for the bedroom uh, and some bedside lamps would be good and some... Bowls for breakfast. We don't have any bowls. We've got lots of plates and lots of pasta bowls, but we don't have any cereal bowls. So I need to pick up some of those. And just maybe a few little homely things, like a, maybe a couple of blankets and cushions, just something to make it feel a bit more home. We were just gonna have lunch, but Carlo's realized that this is set and he's got to smooth it down before it gets too hard. So I've come over, I said, oh, maybe I'll just have a quick bite of my sandwich, but I saw the sandwich and I laughed because if you live in England, you know what a sandwich is. It's two pieces of brown or white bread cut into a triangle and packaged up like that. And that's a sandwich. Here in Italy, they do their sandwiches a bit differently. Let me show you today's sandwich. This is our current setup. 
and this is our sandwich. It is basically a whole loaf of bread cut in half long ways and filled with, I think this has got prosciutto, formaggio, cheese, ham and um, eggplant under oil in it. But it is massive. Now they've obviously cut a big one for Carlo and a small one for me. That is huge. There's no way I can eat all of that. Ecco perché ho la pancia. Mi piace mangiare. Quel panino va bene per me. <laughs> e poi non si chiama sandwich in Italia. Quello si chiama panino. È un'altra cosa. Mm. I don't think I need that. I don't think I can eat all of that either. Let's cut it in half. I mean, look. The size of the cheese is huge. with Marie and we're shopping for some homely stuff. I think I've found some curtains. Now I'm trying to get the colour scheme right and Marie's really good at this so she's giving me a hand. Okay so if they're that dark, I mean I love this colour here but I feel this illuminates everything a little bit more. Yeah. And I love, I love it, the, 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 the pinks and things that you've chosen as well. The pinks are great. So the pinks and the green are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> shopping myself now. <laughs> We still need a few more sofas. I love this. Yeah. We're doing quite well. I've got that. <laughs> and we've still got a few other things to get, including a big mirror. Did I get anything else in here? I don't know, but it's looking lovely. All those colors <laughs> and textures, should I say. It's a good idea. Is that for the doggies? Yes, it's a lifesaver. I don't have to lift, lift those 10 kilo bags and try and pour them into a cup. It's got a scooper as well. Great. I want a mirror that looks like a window to put halfway up the staircase. And there's quite a few in here, so hopefully I'll find one. Hopefully I'll find one that's half price. <laughs> that's far too big. That's a nice one. I think I like this one. It's slightly aged, looks like a window, it's a good mirror, and it's not too expensive. The other mirrors I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try and pick up in flea market second hand, but I know I won't find one of these second hand. Now for me, the most amazing thing about doing all of this is that I don't have to carry any of this down 500 steps. I can literally put up right outside the house and just offload it all from the car to the house. It's just such a special thing for us. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Now we have to fit it in the right. car. A carpet solo mettiamo? Absolutely, vediamo. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about right. Ok, la vuoi al centro? Sì, sì, sì. sì. Allora, dai un segno con la matita. Fallo sul lato, per favore. Ma sta al centro? No, no, devo andare un po' più qua. Ma <ride> stava solo spostando. <ride> Com'è? Sì, questo era l'effetto che volevo fare. Sì, magari la... mettiamo anche una lampadina e sarà ancora più bello. E tu cosa stai facendo con me? I am making temporary wardrobes for us so we can finally take our clothes out of the bags that they've been in for the last two weeks and we can hang everything up if our coat hangers arrive tomorrow. And then once we've got somewhere to put our clothes, these can go into the spare room because they're just easy for guests to use. Oh, guarda, guarda questa piccolina, ha trovato il suo posto, sei contenta? I love you. All of these clothes were actually already in here, but when I moved it from there to here, everything fell out on the floor, so I'm just tidying it all up again. Oh, vedo che hai messo anche le tende. Sì. Che brava. I've just, I've just hung them 
over these little tiny little hooks that are here. And now I wish I'd bought another pair because I could have bought some for that window. I quite like them like that. Bella. And then we can just... Bella anche il colore. Ma scusa, questo veniva con... Questo del letto è lo stesso no, no, colore. No, it's the same color, it's just coincidence. Oh, ok. But I found that color. So... Mi piace. Ok. Penso che è abbastanza per oggi. <ride> Sono veramente stanco. Sì, è strano che siamo a casa ma dobbiamo andare in un altro posto. <ride> ok. Sì, un altro paio di giorni. Join us next week as we find some amazing bargains in the second hand stores, we explore the local countryside and finally move into the house.